Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another awesome reading, Capricorn. The first card here is the angel, and she says, yes. Yes, Power and Light, you're right about everything. Just teasing. <laughs> she says, yes, and uh, next to it is take action. Yeah, these are the angels, right? And interestingly enough, she holds up like kind of like two universes here, like it's kind of like you're going to get everything you want. That's how, kind of how I see that card, right? Mm -hmm. It could be saying, yes, uh, you know, definitely take action. But somebody here, somebody is taking action. We have the clovers and the pennies. This is a good luck card, uh, right? Because of the four leaf clover. And of course, uh, pennies used to be uh, good luck back in the day. And, you know, uh, nowadays, you know, there's the inflation, uh, nothing. There's even the, the dollar it is not worth, it's worth far less than it was in 1985. So there you go, right? So let's see uh, what it says here about the two of diamonds here, which is the clovers. And this is the clovers and the pennies. Of course, everybody knows four leaf clovers and pennies are good luck. And that's exactly what this card means. With finances, it promises a good partnership. It looks like somebody's coming here, Capricorn, to really love you, right? The take action card here is the angel and she's on the unicorn and she is taking action, right? She is. The horse is rising up. And here's kind of like this shining star here with the rainbow emanating from it. Uh, and the pixie dust is there. This is very beautiful. Uh, but Capricorn, we have two jokers here from this deck. We have like the female joker and the male joker. And the black cat is here. Uh, and n these jokers are like witches. Or somebody who's very resentful and jealous. Somebody's jealous of you, Capricorn. Because I feel like their person is coming to take action. Or is taking action. And this is like a hell yes. I want Capricorn, right? Yeah, my friend always talks. She always says that. <laughs> hell yes. Right? So let's look at the jokers here. First, we have the black cat. Then we have the black dog, right? And uh, the, the cat looks mean. And then the black dog has little red beady eyes. It looks kind of scary. It does. And uh, let's see what they say here about these cards. The black cat or the red joker. That's what they call the black cat is a witch or other conjurer, a person working against you in some way, whether supernatural or not. Black cats take main stage on the Appalachian imagination when witches are in question. Folks used to say black cats were witches in disguise or that they went about doing their bidding. Stories still abound of the elusive black panther that prowls the hilltops and ridges of the mountains. Enemies can be tricky, but the cards know, knows, the cards know almost all. And it is hard to hide from them. If the card shows upright, there is a threat from such a one, whether supernatural or not. Other cards can determine that, such as the nine of spades showing witchcraft. Okay, let's go on to the next joker here, Capricorn. Maybe there's two people who are jealous of you. This is the black dog. Look out, the devil's about. Black dog folklore has been abundant since the colonization of the Americas. And long before that in Europe, they were said to be harbingers of death or even the devil in dog form. Yeah, it just goes on to say, you know, that somebody's intentions are not good. If the card shows up with the red joker behind it, and that's what the black cat is, the spirit has been employed by another to do their bidding. If the red joker shows up, shows before it, it does. Oh my goodness. Someone is knowingly or unknowingly doing the spirit's work. Ghosts and spirits can work your mind to do, say, or think things you never thought of. Maybe somebody's trying to manipulate somebody, for sure. Nothing good comes of this card unless it is reversed. Then it shows there is no direct threat. Okay, said you, uh, Capricorn. Somebody's majorly jealous of you, and they don't want to see this happen. Right? They don't. They don't want to see this good luck. Uh, no, they don't want to see this happen for you where somebody's taking action and they love you. Let's see what else we have though. Let's see. For, for Capricorn, I beg your pardon, for Capricorn. And we start with a dust devil moving out of stagnation. Yeah, your person here, Capricorn, unless it's you, is moving out of stagnation and away from these kind of jealous, uh, 
know, jealous, resentful, envious type of people here. Yeah, they are. It could be more than one person. Your person could be leaving somebody and there's somebody else here who doesn't want to see that your person be left behind. I mean, it could be. I, I, I don't even use these cards much, but uh, I, I, like when I do, I've only used three cards here and both jokers came out. I mean, ouch. So let's see what else we have for Capricorn, please. And we have the wall, obstacles. So moving, somebody is moving out of stagnation. The dust devil is dust devil is like i'm cleaning up right i'm clearing this out this is right and you know maybe it's going to happen fast because you know she's she looks like she's showing up as a i don't know kind of like you know moving the stuff around the dust is moving around the wall talks about uh an obstacle uh and you know the wall too capricorn whoever was in stagnation was you know kind of hitting a wall with somebody or just, you know, like living with kind of obstacles in their lives and blocks and all this stuff. And we have winter's dream gestation period. Yeah, this is beautiful. And, uh, I feel like somebody is moving obstacles out of the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here. So this dust devil card, mm -hmm. Yeah, embrace the chaos, trust in the process, move out of stagnation and the wall. Being inconvenienced by life, detours and non-action. Okay, well, they are taking action, but uh, your person here is being like, this is an inconvenience because they got to move somebody kind of out of their way. They have to move this obstacle out of their way. And here is the winter's dream. You are winter's dream Capricorn. I'm sure you are gestation period, sanctuary, consciousness, aware, conscious awareness. See, somebody woke up here and they woke up to, uh, woke up to the fact that they were living a stagnant life, right? And that there was no joy and, you know, and so the winter's dream is the summons to go within your life force longs to turn inward like the sap of trees returning to the roots. This is not hibernation. Don't fall asleep. Cast your gaze toward the deep and hidden places in your heart. Come again. And you are in this person's heart, Capricorn. And it's a hidden place. Uh, but not for long with these two jealous uh, dogs, jokers. Mm -hmm. Come to rest again in the sanctuary and safety of your soul and be at peace. With crystalline clarity. Take your quiet, wakeful nature with you into the stillness and know that you are replenishing your life force. Yeah, your person here is replenishing their life force here because something was, something's very heavy that they are moving out of the way. And this is a huge inconvenience, but it definitely looks like it's worth it here with this, uh, you know, the pennies and the clovers and uh, these two cards by the angel. And yes, right. Let's see what we have, Capricorn. Let's see what we have, Capricorn. Let's see. And we have the four of swords and that is, that could be your person who is in solitude. Mm -hmm. The king of pentacles about you. Let's see what we have coming into play is the chariot. Yeah. There's movement here. Your person could be in like in solitude, how to get rid of these obstacles here and move out of stagnation because of somebody's jealousy. Like I have to do this the right way. That's how it looks. It looks like it's a, it's a plan. Definitely. Right. It does. And so let's see what else we have. Yeah. Your person has awakened. Definitely. Yeah, this talks about, uh, mm -hmm. allow the clarity and transparency that comes with the winter's dream to permeate your heart and soul. The time for action will come later. So they know they're going to take action, the Capricorn, because we have yes, exclamation point, and take action is after it. They're trying to figure out what to do with this jealous person. That's how it appears here. Remember that all things are born of dreams and your task is to wake up within the dream to lucidly guide, lucidly guide it to your chosen destination. 
Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing here. And they got to get this dust devil out of their hair, Capricorn, right? Yeah. You guys remember those vacuums? Dust devil. <laughs> Let's see. We have the queen of wands showing up here. A justice. Ace of wands. This is a big reading. See, you have your new beginning coming, Capricorn. Ace of wands. This opportunity showing up in the near future. Right here, that is that. And the Two of Cups is your advice. They love you. They, they want you. Stop worrying. We have judgment if you are. This is a huge reading. Death card. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what else we have. And we have the Ten of Wands. And that Ten of Wands is the obstacle that your person has been trying to overcome here. It has to do with ending another situation. Yeah, it does really look like that here for sure. And here, Capricorn, maybe you are reflecting on this person. This could be them, Four of Swords, in, in quietude or solitude. The Four of Wands is here. So we see these fours together. This is about your stability and your foundation. I feel like you want to marry this person. You might be waiting for them. He's, he is sleeping or praying in the church. This is a, it's a waiting, right? You, can, you may be waiting for them, and this could have been burdening to you, just waiting all by itself. Mm -hmm. And you could be kind of in reflection here. Am I going to recover this? Is it going to happen? You might even be wondering if you're going to marry them. I feel like I said that, but here's uh, the chariot and the two of wands. This is coming into play for you. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a movement for you. This is a choice that's being made to have movement. It is. Uh, this has already been made. I feel like this person is just trying to figure out how to get away from somebody without... I don't know, without them, at the very least, wishing them uh, like their demise, right? Wishing their demise. And so this two of wands is what you need to focus on. This two of wands, Capricorn, talks about this person planning because he's standing here with the globe looking out at the ocean going, well, how am I going to do this part? Where am I going to move? What am I going to do next? Like that. So, you know... Don't get your panties in a hissy, all right, Capricorn? If you wear panties. If you're a man, I don't think you're wearing panties. But hey, whatever floats your boat here. We have the Queen of Wands, right? And this is in the past. Page of Swords. So in the past, you were wondering if they were going to have basically courage and trust their intuition with the black cat. And I feel like you are wondering if this person was going to be like, the queen of wands is kind of unconventional. Like, I'm going to do what I need to do in my life. I don't care if there's an obstacle, I'll move it out of the way. Because the queen of wands is very authentic. And this is what you are and bold, basically. But especially true to themselves. About the passion that they need in their life. And they, you know, they, they're, you know, the element is wand. So they want things in their life that are inspiring and passionate. Here's the justice card. This is assisting you. Yeah, maybe they're a judge. And we have the Ten of Swords. <laughs> they have already made a decision here to end this other situation. This is what you want too. You want, I feel like you want this person also to, maybe you want them to see the truth here about their life justice can be seen you know having the wisdom they do i feel like they do i feel like they've awakened here definitely this ten of swords sits below the black joker mm -hmm. you could be want this you could be wanting this to be like is this almost over ten of swords sometimes is like the worst is over Here's the Ace of Wands. It's coming in the near future. We're going to leave it alone, Capricorn, because it's too beautiful, right? And the Two of Cups is another really beautiful card in your advice, and this is how you are being affected by this person. Yeah, they love and respect you and honor you. Seven of Wands. You're really overwhelmed about it. And they could be, this could be them standing up for this love for you. And they are. They're standing up for a future with you. That's what they're doing. And they're trying to get this black dog or the red cat or whatever the red joker is really a black cat, but, uh, you know, 
And this obstacle, they're trying to move that person out of the way, I believe, right? But with the least amount of damage, that's how it appears. And the judgment card is in your environment. This is a rebirth. This is their decision they're acting on. This could be a declaration to this other person because I feel like your person is trying to decide how to tell somebody, how to declare to them. That's what this uh, angel is doing. You have made them made this decision, Capricorn, or not made them. There's no, nobody makes anybody do anything in this life unless you're five and your mother's making you do something. But, you know, you're making them here do, like you're definitely influencing this. Like you are the reason here, right? And we have the seven of cups. This is how you are affecting this person. They made a very hard choice here. And part of the reason that this is a hard choice is because they know somebody they're dealing with is like jealous here. Yeah, for sure. Resentful. Came out twice. Oh, gee. Right. And so the death card is going to be in your hopes and fears. Page of Pentacles. You're hoping for a fertile new beginning. You're hoping for a transformation that this will all change and you, you're not going to have to wait around anymore, Capricorn. You might want to show them your new tennis shoes, right? You could. <laughs> but, you know, you could be also wanting their situation to end here, right, with this death card. In the outcome is the Ten of Wands. I'm sure that's what you want, right? Yeah, you want this to all end. And the Two of Swords. Yeah, I mean, you could be saying, well, this energy here is that you might know here that this is very burdening to them. This could be saying the two of swords. I just kind of have to put up with this with the ten of wands. You know, this is a heavy burden kind of, but yeah. You could be saying this is all worth it. But there is an element in here, Capricorn, where I'm tired of waiting. Yeah, there is. Let's get one more card on that two of swords. The moon card. Yeah, you're, you're kind of still confused here if this is really going to happen. And you could be saying to yourself too, well... This person is uh, most likely, my person's most likely suffering kind of, or, you know, really dealing with these two black jokers. And so, you know, and so kind of just deal with it, go with the flow. We're going to go to their extended. Their first card is the dust devil. And this is moving out of stagnation. Uh, mm -hmm. This talks about moving out of situations that no longer serve you, that hold you back, that suck the joy out of you, all this kind of stuff. This is what they are doing. Crossing them is the obst the wall, the obstacles. This is a major inconvenience in their life, probably because what I said, these this jealousy here. It could also be there's too jealous. There could be like maybe uh, their company or whoever they work with is going to be jealous, kind of that they're leaving or something, right? It could be their their family, like their mom, and you know maybe you know I'm just saying could be a sibling. Somebody's jealous because. This looks like your person's coming for a brand new life. And the other joker could be the person they're walking away from, possibly. And the winter's dream here. This is where your person is trying to plan their exit. Yeah, exit stage one or, you know, yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Uh, they're trying to slip out of the uh, the secret passageway in, in the, at, the, at, the, at the creepy castle. Uh, Capricorn. It does kind of look like that, right? <laughs> We're going to end the reading. This will be a 10-card spread. And they're all super affordable. We also have a tarot spread on them. We do. It's going to be a different spread with different cards. Uh, and we're going to find out, of course, Capricorn, how they feel. Uh, this person's coming, but they got to deal with somebody here. Yeah. And this will be a 10-card spread. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. There are both your person's readings in the extended. And the link is always below in this description box. Thank you so much. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.